five. A Magna woman will always celebrate today as the day she walked away with her life after being hit by a train. Wow, it happened back in 2004 at a crossing with no lights or a crossing gate of any kind. Fox 13's Amy Nay joins us with the details. Amy, this is a somber anniversary. Oh, it's quite a story, though, and she is so happy to be alive today. We are, we've surely all driven across a train track before here in Utah, but you may not realize they're not all marked the same. In fact, many don't have all the bells and whistles and crossing gates you might expect. That was the scariest thing I've ever been through, ever, and I never, ever want to wish that upon anybody else. Emily Clausen walks us through what happened at this spot in Magna 16 years ago today. I looked left up the train tracks as I was approaching and my front tires went over the first rail. And then I looked right as my tires went over the second rail and the train hit me okay. just that quickly. A Utah railway train slamming into Emily here along 7200 West and 41st South. As it hit me, I remember my the glass on the windshield coming towards me kind of in slow motion. And I remember watching my rear view mirror in slow motion come off and hit me in the face. But Emily survived only minor injuries from this major impact. When it hit me, the front hitch of the engine actually went through my passenger door and picked up my car on that side about three feet and with the way that my tires were perfectly straddling the tracks, it pushed me up, clear up the tracks about 500 yards. From the train sounding its horn as it pushed her clear to the next crossing, one that ironically had a crossing gate. The intersection where she was hit only marked by a sign. Still no, no signals, no crossing arms. It's, it, it boggles my mind. It's baffling. According to the Utah Department of Transportation and Department of Public Safety, there are a number of railroad crossings in Utah without lights or gates. You don't think anything ever is ever going to happen to you. Emily, who grew up in Magna and had heard trains here before, had never seen one until it hit her. Always be cautious, always slow down, always look, you know, left, right, left, every single time. Every single time. Don't assume that it's not going to be there because it's going to be there when you least expect it. Now, the Department of Public Safety says these crossings without all the bells and whistles are called passive crossings and are found in maybe more rural areas. Most state crossings are what they call active with warning devices like gates, bells, or flashing lights. In fact, nationwide and the numbers here in Utah are about even, about half and half. Officials here in Utah want to remind drivers, if you see tracks, think train. Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah.